Well, hey guys, what's going on? I had some people ask me about doing a review on some axles and why their bearings are so hard to fit into their axles. And I'm gonna show you some of the problems I've come across. All right, now we got a newer axle here. And when you first get your axles, the first thing you wanna do, obviously, is clean them off because you don't know how, what kind of stuff is on there. And I'm just using a simple rag and some lacquer thinner. You want to clean these off because sometimes there can be tape, other stuff that's on it. But I'm going to show you something here. All right, now I've got this bearing. The bearing won't go on it. It's a little tight. And this that's from the tape. I don't know if you can see the yeah, you can see the other end here. See how it's got this cardboard on it? You want to get the, the glue from the tape off of the axle. Alright, sometimes when you go to put your axle on or slide it through your bearings on your machine it's gonna be a little tight and you don't want to force it <clears throat> like I just did <laughs> and the reason that happens is when the company's machine out this slot Sometimes they, this edge right here, grab a little pointy thing. Sometimes this edge right here has a lip on it on both sides. So you gotta take that off or else trying to put your bearings on, they'll, they'll lock up. So, See, that's how, that's how the further that bearing's going. About right to there. So you want to get yourself a flat file. And ever so gently, you don't want to do this really hard, but you take off that lip that's on the axle. And you want to pull it towards the groove. So that way the filings go into the groove. You want to try to make it as even as you possibly can by hand. And it's best to use a file and not sandpaper. Got a burr over here on this side. You want to do this real gently. You don't want to leave pits in your axle. Okay. Now what you do is you just go all the way down your entire axle. I would flip this around, or actually I just peel this off, wipe it all down and then continue with the file on the edge of the keyway. Sometimes after you put your sprocket or your, your uh, brake hub on there, you'll have problems with trying to get your keyway in. This is a piece of key stock that I got down at, uh, I think Ace Hardware or something like that. Now, if you buy your key stock like this, a lot of times the coating that's on this key stock will be a little thicker than what you have, what you need to use it for. So, sometimes your key stock won't seat down inside that groove, like this one. This end right here, when they cut it, I can tell just by looking at this, that there are flares 
on the very edge of this key stock. So what I would do is that once I got this all done, I would cut off the length that I want and preferably where it's poking out one side and the other side. That's how much of this I would cut off. So that way I could see the key stock in. I wouldn't use, I wouldn't cut off a half of an inch and stick it down in there. I would make sure that my key stock covers the entire surface inside this keyway through this entire break or this hub here. That's what I would do. So once I got that cut, I would grind off the four corner, the four edges and slide it. If it was if it was too hard to slide in there, then I would put the put the key stock in the in my vise and I would file it down. Sometimes these especially if you buy it like this, this coating that's on this, this nickel coating that's on here, it can be a little bit thicker than what my keyway is. And or a little thicker than what this hub is. They're supposed to be a quarter inch, but sometimes it doesn't turn out that way. It can be like a quarter of a millimeter off or something like that, or even an eighth of a millimeter off. And you you would slide it. You want your keyway, when you go to put your keyway in, you want your keyway to be a little snug, but not to the point to where you gotta put a chisel here and pound the dang thing in. You don't ever wanna do that. You want your key to be able to slide nice and easy right through your keyway. You don't want it tight because if it's tight on here, it might be too tight in here. And most of these hubs that you'll get are either going to be aluminum or they're going to be uh, steel. But it, most of them are aluminum, at least most of the ones that you'll find today. And uh, you, you should never have to pound your keyway in. You should never have to do that. It should be able to slide in there nice and snug. And But if you, you could also go as far as putting a little bit of oil on there around the whole, whole piece and put it in here. If you're like me, you can make yourself, get yourself some quarter inch uh, solid rod that's square and make yourself a little punch ground it down to a point not really a point but a blunt point so that way if you, if you have a little piece to put in there this will fit right down in there and you'll be able to tap it in this is one that I made and this is one that I bought they're just simple little punches and when you go to put your key stock in if I had a little piece of key stock right here and I had this you don't want to hit it at an angle like that you want to lay it down as flat as you can and then tap your key in then you'll put your if it's a set screw or however your system is set up this has a tightening so this will tighten around the key stock you should never and it, it's also the same principle having something like this as if you're trying to get a chunk of key stock out if you're trying to get it out if you have a machine that you bought off of like Craigslist or something like that and the key stock won't come out, then you have to make something like this. You lay it down as close as you can, and then you'll take a small little hammer. I've got uh, one somewhere around here. Okay, well I can't find it, so I'll just use this one. See, this is one that I got for Christmas. Dad fi always fixes what's broken. Oh, can you guys see that? Uh, kinda, kinda. Cody got that for me for Christmas. But you'll have your key stock, you'll have your uh, tool down and you'll tap that key stock right out. But you always wanna lay it down to tap out a key, uh, something that's rusted. You don't wanna have it angled like this, trying to pound on it like that. You don't wanna do that. You wanna lay it as flat as you possibly can to break the rust that's in there on that key and slide it out. But like I said, it's a good idea to get yourself some stuff like this. Some little pieces. This is one I made and this is one I bought.
Oh, one more thing I'd also like to add is that if you do file this, your axle, to lay down your, to take care of some of that machine fold over that's created from this, this groove, if you use too much pressure, you're going to fold it over. So you also want to use the edge of the file. Put it inside the groove and lightly take off all that stuff off the inside. Jeez. And some axles, depending upon where you get them at, you got to be careful about this because this stuff is sharp. It can cut you, which is why you want to use these anyways. Oh yeah, this is also another little project I'm working on too. Got some of these uh, transformer, or uh, this is a power supply, a little uh, five amp or uh, what is it? Yeah, five amp power supply. And it seems to work on these uh, little aux beam LEDs. So yeah i'm not too sure if i'm really gonna go that route uh, especially those of you who saw my other video over on my t-man's builds channel about those those leds that i built yeah that's not good for the past few days we've had some great weather and i've been working a lot outside and doing a bunch of stuff around the house because it's been warm enough to but then today i wake up And we got a whole bunch more snow. And it's not stopping. I don't know if you guys can see the snow falling, but yeah, joy. And when it did start snowing last night, it blew from the east, so it all, the steps are all snowed over and down in the basement. That whole area is all snowed over. We've got snow all over on the deck. Normally the snow comes from the west and we hardly ever have any snow on the deck, but our whole deck is covered in snow right now. Had to scoop the deck so we could get out of the front door. You guys can see the computer that I have right here set up. I was gonna do some uh, live streaming from the shop here, but the Wi-Fi doesn't work very well. If I leave the door open, It'll work kind of okay, but if I shut the door, yeah, this whole, the whole shop acts like some big shell. But yeah, keep that in mind. If your bearings or anything else is not working very well with a new axle that you buy, you want to take down that edge on the keyway. So that way your bearings will slide right on there. It's just a good idea to prep your axle before you start installing it. And occasionally, depending upon what type of axle you have or where you get it, if it's an old one that came off of a machine or something like that, um, if you are gonna take sandpaper to it, you use the fine stuff like 400 grit or something like that. Really, really fine stuff because you don't wanna be, if you create a lot of pits in an axle and you'd have no plans on ever painting it or doing anything like that with it, that creates great places for rust to start. So you wanna use real nice fine sandpaper to take down any burrs or take off any sand, or you could use one of these things. And these, this is great for taking off rust off of, uh, off of an axle. I would suggest the wire wheel though, because uh, sandpaper, Using 400 grit sandpaper on rust is just gonna cake up that sandpaper and make it useless after the first or second wiping it across the surface. What? Battery low. Oh! Well, okay guys, I gotta get out of here before my battery dies on me. But let me know if you guys ever had, uh, uh, uh blah, blah. Let me know if you guys ever have trouble with your axles. Hopefully that helps you out a little bit. And it's the same principle with your jack shafts too. If you buy jack shafts and they have that same problem, it's hard to slide your bearings on or put the axle into place. Just try bringing down the sharp edges. But anyways, guys, I'm going to take off out of here. So thumbs up the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.